Hey, Dr. Colbert here, and let's talk diabetes. You see, we have an epidemic of this in this country with 25 million Americans with diabetes and approximately 79 million with prediabetes. But it all starts with insulin resistance. If you're a male and your waistline is greater than 40 inches, guess what? You have insulin resistance. If you're a female and your waistline is greater than 35 inches, you have insulin resistance. What is insulin resistance? It's where the insulin doesn't work as well as it should. So what happens is the blood sugar starts to rise because insulin is a hormone that simply binds to insulin receptors, which allows the sugar in the cell. But when you gain weight, what happens? The insulin doesn't work as well. So cells become resistant to the effects of insulin and your sugar rises. Well, the key things you have to do first is you have to maintain a healthy waistline, and that's done by simply a healthy diet, which I've discussed in my books over the years, as well as a regular exercise program, both aerobic exercise and strengthening exercises, as well as balancing your hormones and taking a few key herbs and nutrients. So let's talk about a few herbs and a few nutrients. First of all, bitter melon. You see, bitter melon has been around for hundreds of years, been around in India, been used to help support healthy blood sugar for hundreds of years. And what it does, it actually helps to improve insulin sensitivity, which means the insulin works better, which helps to lower the blood sugar. In fact, a study at the Philippine Department of Health found that bitter melon worked as well as a hypoglycemic medication. Another key herb is fenugreek. Fenugreek are, is, are actually seeds, and it decreases the absorption of sugar, and it also helps to increase the production of insulin. Also, Gymnina sylvestri is another herb used in India for hundreds of years, and this also decreases the absorption of sugar and promotes the production of insulin. But there's also key minerals that are important. We found in studies that many diabetics are low in a very important mineral called chromium. You see, chromium is actually extracted when you process food, so you don't get the amount of chromium you need in the foods you eat if you eat a lot of uh, processed foods, but if you eat whole foods, then yes, you do get your chromium. But chromium is insulin's little helper. It improves insulin sensitivity, which in turn helps to lower your blood sugar. There's another important mineral, vanadium, which also improves insulin sensitivity. And there's a key antioxidant called alpha-lipoic acid that helps to improve insulin sensitivity, as well as helps support healthy blood sugar levels. Now, I put all of these herbs and these nutrients, as well as these minerals, in a capsule and it's simply called nutrients for glucose regulation but again to help support healthy blood sugar it's important to maintain a healthy waistline to exercise regularly both strengthening exercise aerobic exercise as well as a healthy diet and take a few key supplements to help maintain healthy blood sugar levels that's good